Hello, good evening. Hello, nice to see you. Good evening. How are you tonight? Your microphone. Good night, teacher. Hello, Francisca. Good night. How are you? Hi, and you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. So okay. tonight is our last class, right? How do you feel about that? Thank you. Oh, you feel great? Yes, right. You, you must feel great. Today is our last lesson from the model beginner trio. And you are going to start uh, pre-intermediate, right? Ya enviaron sus documentos para inscribirse al pre-intermedio. Yes. Ah, that is excellent. Very good. So you are going yes. to study in English with us. Pero, yeah. pero ya, pero al intermedio vamos, teacher. Uh, which one? No, al pre intermedio. Pre intermedio. Pre intermedio. Pre intermedio. Okay, teacher. Pre intermediate one. So I'm pretty sure that you are going to do a great job right in that level. You are ready to go to that level. <laughs> and that is nice, right? You have okay. to continue practicing. So in yesterday class, we were studying, right? We were making a review Just about practice. the question. <laughs> yes, English is about practicing, right? Uh, the most you practice, the better you become in this language. Right? So uh, you can practice a lot. Let's practice every day. Let's read in English. Let's listen to music in English. Watch movies with okay. subtitles in English first and then without subtitles. And that is going to help you a lot. Watch videos in English too. So everything okay. must be in English. Can be su teléfono inglés también. Sí. Y después no va a encontrar el menú como pasar al español. <laughs> I like vocabulary. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to learn a lot of vocabulary, right? So if you learn every day English, you are going to be a great English speaker. But we need to practice a lot. It's a matter of practice. Okay. Um, Ana Lucia says, good evening to everyone. I'm going to be a for a moment. Okay, and uh, don't worry about that. It's okay. So, Gary, today is our last class, right? It has been a pleasure to be with you during this night. And today we're going to finish this, right? But before we start with the class of tonight, let me know, please, if you have already finished the platform exercises. Did you finish? Did you finish the section number five and also the final exam in the platform? Yes, teacher. Ana Lucia dice, ya lo termine todo. Y Carmen, did you finish everything on the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay, that is excellent. Are you able to see your diploma? Ya pueden ver su diploma. Yay! Okay, excellent. Congratulations then. Bueno, ahí está una opción, ¿verdad? Después que usted termina o pasa del 80%. Ya tiene derecho a, su, a ver su diploma. Lo puede descargar y sacarlo impreso para que lo tenga ahí. Y espero que ya hayan enviado también sus documentos para el, para el siguiente módulo. Ya es que Ah, ok. Sí le llegó la notificación, ¿verdad? Que deben inscribirse para cada módulo. Bueno. Entonces, let's continue. Um, with the class, right? Today we are going to have a review of the exercises in the section number five. And also we are going to solve the exercise in the final exam. So let's start with this. Let me share with you my screen here. Let me see. This is the section number five. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, that is excellent. And this section, this is the first exercise. In the 5.2, we have this exercise. And the instruction says, add the cover form of the verb was, where was, and wherein to complete the conversation. And then it says, my family and I. What is the right answer here in this first sentence? My family and I was or were all born in South Korea.
What is the right answer in this one? Is it was or where in the first one? Where? Um, my family and I were. Uh, okay, that's great. So yeah. Number one, teacher? Yes, number one. So where is the right answer? We're talking about my family and I. So we, nosotros. And with we, we use where. We were. And then my family and I were all born in South Korea. That is excellent. And the second one, we wasn't or we weren't born in the U.S. What was the answer in this exercise? We, uh, number two is we weren't. We weren't, excellent. We weren't born in the U.S. And then it says, I was born or I were born in the city of Incheon. And my brother was born there too. What is the third one? I was born. Ah, okay, let's see. I was born. Excellent. I was born in the city of Incheon. Then my parent wasn't or weren't born in Incheon. My parent weren't. Okay, weren't is the answer here. Then they was or were born in the capital of Seoul. Where? They were. Excellent. They were. They were born in the capital. And then in South Korea, my father was or were a, a businessman and my mother was a teacher. Uh, was. Was. My father was. Then let's click on send and let's see what was the result. 25 of 25 points. That is excellent. Very good job. Congratulations. You did Thank a you. great job in this exercise. Now let's go with the next one, which is 5.5. .5. This was the second exercise in this section. Select the best answer to the question. Where were you born? Where were you born? What is the meaning of this question? Where were you born? It's asking for a place, right? Donde naciste? Where were you born? Then, what is the right answer? Her name was Yumiko in Hiroshima, Japan. She was really friendly. I wanted to improve my English. I grew up in Tokyo. It was a little scary. Hiroshima, Hiroshima Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, excellent. It's asking for a place. Where, where were you born? In qué lugar nació? So in Hiroshima, Japan. So you say in Santa Ana, El Salvador. In Soyapango, El Salvador. In Mexicanos, El Salvador. And where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? This question uh, means... I grew up... No sé cómo se pronuncia. Grew up. I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Excellent. So where did you grow up? ¿Dónde creciste? Algunas veces nacemos en una ciudad, ¿verdad? Pero de pequeños nos cambian y crecemos en otro lugar. That's why the question. Where did you grow up? ¿Dónde creciste? So, who was, how was your first day of school? How was? What was the answer in this one? It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Excellent. It okay. was a little scary. Very good job. And then we have number four. Who was your first friend at the school? Who was your first friend at the school? And she was really friendly. Uh, really? The question is who is asking for a person? Who was who? your Yes. Um, I wanted to improve my English. No, not really. And the question, who is uh, who was your first friend in the school? Then who, quien? Quien fue tu primer amigo en la escuela? 
Your name was Yumiko. Okay, her name was Yumiko, and what was he or she like? Was... What was he or she like? What was? Then it is asking for Yumiko but... personality. Cute. Really friendly. She was really friendly. Was yes, so that is friendly. the answer. Why did you take this class? Why did you take this class? It's, I mean, it's asking for a reason. For I, care, wanted, I wanted I want to, to improve my English. Excellent. I wanted to improve my English. Those were the answer. Let okay. me see. Yes, all of them are right. Yes. Okay, 25 of 25 points. Excellent. And finally, we have the... Oh, no, we have another two exercise. Then we have another exercise in 5.10. In this section, in the instruction set, I'm scramble the words to create the questions. So, born where you were. And it was where were you born is the right question. And then I have the words here, grow up, you did, and where. What is the right sentences in this part? What is the right question? Grow up, you did, and where. Where did, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Excellent. In the year 2000, what were you, you how? In the second were one. you were you in the year okay, I'm 2000 sorry. you 2000 how no uh, okay how no. old were you in the oh, year uh -huh. 2000 were you in the year in the, in the year how old were you in the year okay. 2000 in the year 2000. 20 um, zero, zero. <laughs> 20 zero, zero, 2000 2000 2000 very good now how old were you in this year cuántos años tenía en el 2000 how old were you in 1000 year 1000 se acuerdan i was like let's see i was like 11 years old what about you? How old were you in the year 2000? <laughs> and, and they say, I was 20, I was 25, I was two years old. How old were you in the year 2000? ¿Cuántos años tenía en el 2000? That is the question. I have in 14. Uh, I have I was. 14 years old. Ah, okay, I was 14 years old. I was 17 years old. 17 years old. I, okay, that is the right answer. I was. I was 17 years old. I was 14 years old. I was 10 years old. And number three, begin to study English. When did and you? What is the right question in the number three? When, when, did, did, when did you begin to... In, to study English. English. Yes. Okay, exactly. English. When did you begin to study English? English? Right. When? Can you answer this question? When did you begin to study English? And then you say, I began studying English in 2020, 2021, 2023, 2015. When? When did you start studying English? When did you begin studying English? Don't you remember? Or this year, comenzaron este año? Yes, teacher. Oh, you started this year. Okay, excellent. And finally, the number four, we have you born, when, and where. What was the question in this? Where you were. Oh, when were you born? Excellent. When were you born? And 
that's it, right? Excellent job. And finally, we have this exercise in, in 5.15. Go back and read the article about Ricky Martin and select the right answer for each question. Okay, you, you did this reading in the video, right? And you answered this question about Ricky Martin. And that's, that was the section number five. That was the section number five. And then we have the final example. We are studying yesterday the exercises that you find that you found in the final test. So for tonight, we are going to have a review of some of the topics that we studied during this in English course. So let's start with the future. We're going to do you remember that topic? Se acuerdan del futuro con el going to, and you say, I am going to. What are you going to do next weekend? What are you going to do next weekend? And they will say, I am going to, I am going to watch movies, I am going to listen to music, I am going to dance, uh, I am going to clean my house, I am going to work, I am going to stay home, so I am going to. So that is the first topic that we are going to review tonight. So let's see. I'm going to share the presentation. Feedback of the course. That is the topic for tonight. And this is our class 16. This is the last one on this course. I am sharing with you the presentation. Can you see it? Can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Uh, thank I you so much. So future tense review. Um, com let me see. I just complete the following sentences with an is or at. Let's see number one. We. We am, we is, or we are going to cook roasted meat. We are going to cook. Oh, uh, what about the second one? I. I am, I is, I am going to have a party. Have a party. <laughs> what is? I'm is or competition. Thank you, Manuel. I am. I am. Let's see number three. Yeah. You are going to come to my party. I am. You are. Hey, number three. You are going to. You are going to come to my party. A hey, number four. She, she is going. Excellent. She is going to buy some drinks. And number five. She is going to buy some snack. Thank you so much. And number six. It. It is going to be it's going fantastic. To be fantastic. And number seven. They are going, going to make the They salad. are going to make the salad. Excellent. Very good. Now, let's see. Don't forget about the structure of the affirmative sentences. We need a subject. We need the verb be. Then we are going to need going to, the verb, and the complement. That is what we are going to need to make sentences with going to, right? And for future plans. Para planes al futuro. We are going to, I am going to, you are going to, she is going to, he is going to, it is going to, and they are going to. Let's go then next. Let's see. Complete the sentences you seen. Ah, oh, yeah. in negative sentences. This okay. is negative. No. I am the Grinch. Yo no voy a celebrar Navidad. I am not. <laughs> then you say, I am not. I am not going to celebrate going Christmas. To Grinch. <laughs> El Grinch, right? I don't like Christmas. And the <laughs> second one, she going to have a birthday party. She is going to have a birthday party. It is a negative <laughs> sentence. It is a negative uh, sentence. She isn't. She isn't. She isn't going to have a birthday she party. Isn't. And number three, he. He isn't. He isn't stay home next holiday. Number four. <laughs> they aren't to travel to Europe. Excellent. They aren't. They aren't going, right? They are. They aren't going to travel to Europe. To 
Okay. Then don't forget this subject, verb. Okay. Then we add not after the verb. Going to the verb the, and the complement. And then we have a negative sentences to express future plans. Plans que no van a suceder. I am not going to celebrate Christmas. She isn't going to have a birthday party. He is in the stay home next holiday. And they aren't going to travel to Europe. Any question in this part? No, no, no question. Okay, that is great. Then answer the following question. Question number one. Oh, let's review the structure of the question. Then for making question, we are going to write the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence. Then the subject going to the verb, the complement, and the question mark. And finally, the question mark in this part. So look at this question. Are you going to go shopping tomorrow? Are you going to go shopping tomorrow? Yes, I do. I am. Oh. I am. Yes, yes, I do or yes, I am? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right. The question is with the verb to be. So the answer must be with the not. verb to be. Yes, I am or no, I am not. Is she going to buy clothes? Yes, I am. Oh, yes, she. Yes, she. Yes, Ria. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh, no, she is. Yes. Esta es tercera persona. Yes. To say, yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, she is. Okay. Are they going to use their credit card? Are they going to use their credit card? Yes, they are. Excellent. Yes, they are. Oh, no, they? They are. No, they, they are. No, they aren't. Is he going to buy a car? Is he mm. going to buy a yeah. car? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Sería la siguiente. No, yes, he is. No, he isn't. Are we going to go to the supermarket? Yes, we, we are. Yes, I, we, we are. are. No, we aren't. No, we no, aren't. We are. Excellent. Thank you so much. Those are the answers, right? Don't forget this. Right? If the question is with the verb to be, we are going to answer with the verb to be. Are you going to go shopping? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Is she going to buy cloth? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Are they going to use their credit card? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is he going to buy a car? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Are we going to go to the supermarket? Yes, we are, or no, we aren't. Those are the answer, the short answer. Let's see the following WH word questions. For the WH word question, we are going to need the WH word at the beginning of the question, the verb to be, subject, going to, the verb, the complement, and the question mark. Okay. And let's see, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Uh, hasta el otro año, no se falta bastante. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? And then you say, I am going to, I am going to go to a restaurant, I am going to stay home, I am going to buy a present for my husband or my wife. So plans, what are you going to do next weekend? Tomorrow, right? And the day after tomorrow, what are you going to do next weekend? This is the information question when you say, I am going to, and you list the activities that you are going to do. Okay. I am going, I am going to, any volunteer, what are you going to do next weekend? I am. Dos planes por lo menos que tenga para el fin de semana. Fin de semana. Any volunteer? I am going to, and you say the activity that you are going to me do. Teacher. Tell me. Tell me your sentences. I am going to. I am going to 
cook a cake. Excellent sentence. I am going to cook a cake. Very good. And the cake is going to be delicious. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, okay, you have one, Carmen. One sentence. Any other activity that you are going to do next weekend? Anybody? Me, teacher. Tell me your sentences. Uh, I am going to church uh, next weekend. Okay, I am very good. To, I am, I am, I am going to go to the supermarket next weekend. Okay, the second sentence is okay. En la primera le faltó el verbo. I am going to go. I am going to go to the church. Mm -hmm. La segunda sí estuvo perfecta. I am going to okay. go to the supermarket. Excellent okay. sentence. Thank you so much. The last one. What are you going to do next weekend? Let me ask to Kevin. What are you going to do next weekend, Kevin? Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Uh, I am going to go to the beach. Excellent sentence. Do you have another activity? Um, I'm going to rest in my house. Okay, excellent sentences. Thank you so much, Kevin. I am going to rest. I am going to go to the beach. Excellent. Let me see anybody here. Teacher. Another participant. Raul Edgardo, what are you going to do next weekend? Raul, what are you going to do next weekend? Means I am going to. Hello, teacher. I am going to the store with my my parents. Okay, I am going to visit my parents. I am going to the so zoological. Oh, I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to the zoo with my parents. Excellent my sentence. Parents. Thank you. An excellent plan too. I'm going to go to the zoo. Where are you going to travel in the future? Where are you going to travel? ¿Tiene planes de viajar? ¿A dónde va a viajar? Then I'm going to travel to Europe. I am going to travel to the USA. I am going to travel to Mexico. I am going to travel to New York. Where are you going to travel? I am going to travel in USA. Okay, excellent, to USA. Very good. So those are information questions. Don't forget about this structure, right? They are really important in English. So WH word, better be, subject, going to, very complement, and the question mark. If you learn this sentence structure, then you are going to do a lot of questions, right? A lot of sentences. Si seguimos las estructuras, ¿verdad? Son muy importantes. En inglés es un idioma muy ordenado y siempre van a ir así las oraciones en este orden. WH word, better be, subject, going to, fair, complement, and the question mark. Es importante que nos aprendamos las estructuras de las oraciones. Then let's continue. Let's go with this. In this, when we talk about this, right? Common illnesses, do you remember this? Talking about health problems review. We also learned this, right? In this English course. What's the matter with hair? Look at the picture and tell me what's the matter with her. Mm -hmm. What is the matter with her? Or what's wrong with her? Do you remember about this vocabulary? Common illnesses. Good. Toothache. Toothache, very good. Toothache. Toothache. Y la oración completa sería como ella tiene dolor de muerte. She has. She has or she has? She has. She has. Oh, she has a toothache. Excellent. That is the right answer. Now, what's, what's the matter, right? Do you remember this question? What's the matter? 
para preguntar qué le sucede a alguien. ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué te sucede? What's the matter? And also we have other options, which is what's wrong? What's wrong with you? And I have the verb have, right? We use the verb have to say that we are suffering from an illness. I have a cold, he has a rash, he has a backache. So what's the matter with her? Look at the picture and tell me what's the matter with her. Then we say he has or she has. He has. She has a backache, a headache, back. or a stomach ache. Um, backache. Backache, really? She has a backache? He has a backache. Oh, but look at the picture. Is this the picture? What's the matter with hair? He has or she has? He has. He has. He has, she has, really? She has. She has. She has, yes, and I ask me, you're right. She has. She has a stomach ache. Oh. Stomach ache. She has a stomach ache. And what's the matter with her? How do you say gripe in English? Do you remember that? Flu, flu. Flu, okay. She has the flu. She has, she has the flu. She has the flu. She has the flu. What's the matter with him? He has headache. He, he has, has a headache. Yes. I just empezan a recordar. He has a headache. <laughs> then okay. the sentence is she has a toothache. She has a stomach ache. She has the flu. And he has a headache. Those are the answers in this. Dale, contestame. And we also study mm -hmm. the imperative sentences to give advice. What were the imperative sentences? Son aquellas oraciones con las que damos instrucciones, consejos o orden. Those are the imperative sentences. We give advice, orders, or instructions. So let's see, for example, for a headache. I have a headache. What can I do? Then you say, take some aspirin. Don't watch TV. Don't listen to music. I have the flu. Then you say, don't drink cold drinks. Don't eat ice cream. Rest a lot. Those are imperative sentences. Okay, oraciones imperativas. So we need to practice them. Imperative sentences to give advice. Para dar consejo. So we have studied this too, right? So can you give me some advices using imperatives mm -hmm. for a stomach ache? And then you say, what's the matter? I have a stomach ache. ¿Qué consejos me podrían dar? Utilizando oraciones imperativas. <laughs> Tell me some advices. If I have a stomach ache, don't you remember that? Is a good advice don't watch TV? Si me duele el estómago, es un buen consejo. Don't watch TV. Go to the doctor. Okay, <coughs> go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. That is a good advice. Go to the doctor. Any other? Go to the bathroom. Go to the go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> well, if she has a diarrhea, yes, we go to the bathroom. And then you can say, don't eat too much, rest a lot, sleep. So you can use those advices for imperative sentences. And also in this English course, we study this. Do you remember these places? Places. 
Then we have bank, library, grocery store, parking lot, video store, Magda, for a house, police station, barber shop, beauty shop, city park, coffee house, city clinic, bakery, drugstore, fire station. Do you remember the preposition of place? Okay. Yes. Let me see this message. Analogia say, thank you, teacher, for everything I have learned. Okay. Okay, Analogia. Creo que ya se, ya se descomentó. It was a pleasure too, right? Gracias por conocerle y a gracias. Un gusto. Okay, Ana Lucía, thank you so much. We are going to miss you. Bye bye. It was a pleasure to meet you too. Okay, then preposition of place. In this part of the course, we study the preposition of place, which were behind, between, in front of, next to, and which other one do you remember? On, next to, between, behind, across from, on the corner of. Now, let me ask a question. Where is the grocery store? Where is the grocery store? Any volunteer to ask the to answer the question? Where is the grocery store? Tienda de comestibles. Tienda de comestibles. Oh yes, that is the meaning. Tienda de comestibles. But where is? Where is? I am looking for the grocery store. Where is the grocery store? Come on. The grocery store is. The, the grocery store is. Uh, yeah. It's pink. It's pink. <laughs> it's pink. Okay. The grocery store is in front of the city elementary school and the city middle school. On the grocery store is on the corner of. Long Avenue and Front Street. Oh, you can say the grocery store is in front of the bank and the library. Two. O podemos utilizar on. The grocery store is on Front Street. Está sobre esta calle. Then, where is the bakery? Where is the bakery? Tell me some sentences. Where is the bakery? The grocery store is the, the bakery from, from City Elementary School. Very good sentence. Yes. Now the bakery. Where is the bakery? Well, the bakery store and from Strip and Short Avenue. Excellent. The bakery is on the corner of Front Street in Short Avenue. Thank you. Uh, any other preposition that we can use here in the bakery? The bakery is next to... The bakery is next to the city the clinic. Is... Yes. Next. The bakery is next to the city clinic. Very good. Now let's see where is the beauty shop. Beauty where shop. is the beauty shop? Then you say the beauty shop is the preposition of place. So where is the beauty shop? Kevin, where is the beauty shop? Mm -hmm. 
Where is the beauty shop? Then you say the beauty shop is between the barber shop and the daycare center. Or the beauty shop is on back street. The beauty shop is on back street. Okay, now the last question. Where is before, the fire station? Before the car center, teacher. Before the daycare center? Just next to. Next, next to, to the, next to the daycare center. A la par de okay. the beauty shop is next to the daycare center. Now, what is the fire station? Tell me at least one sentence. Where is the fire station? Fire station is. Um, Did you say the fire station back, is? Back the drugstore. Back. What is the preposition to say atrás de? Mm -hmm. Atrás de is begging of. Behind, begging of. yes. Behind. <laughs> Very good. Behind so of. The drugstore is behind the fire. The drugstore. Okay. The drugstore oh. is behind of the fire station. Station. Okay, excellent. So the off, no lo necesitamos. So the doctor oh. is behind the fire station. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, excellent sentence. Thank you so much. Now let's see where is the where is the barber shop? Where is the barber shop? It is the barbershop. Can you tell me some sentences to locate the barbershop? The barbershop is next to beauty shop. Excellent sentence. The barbershop is next to the beauty shop. Any other sentence to locate the barbershop? Barbershop. The barbershop is in front of City High School. Excellent sentence to this. The barbershop is in front of the city high school. Any other preposition that we can use? The barbershop the barber is shop on across police station, police. teacher. Across from the police station, yes. Una más, the barbershop is. Just one more. Between Long Avenue and Back Street. Um, between or on the corner of? On the corner of. On the corner of, excellent. Also, we studied the following phrases in this first frame. Do you remember this one? Given direction. Do you remember about these phrases? Go straight, turn right, turn left, walk on. Next to, between, behind, on, on the corner of, across front, and also in front of. So what was the meaning of go straight? Do you remember? Go straight. Go straight when siga recto, siga recto. Go straight Long Avenue. So nos vamos acá, go straight Long Avenue. Then we have turn right. Long Avenue is between a post house and City High School. Ah, okay, excellent. Very good. Aquí comienza Long Avenue, right? Between the courthouse and the City High School. Okay, but this go straight no servía para dar direcciones. Go straight significaba vaya recto. That is the meaning of this expression. Go straight, siga recto. And turn right. What was the meaning of turn right? Izquierda o derecha, turn right. Ah, 
I am here and say turn right. Es ver aquí a la derecha. Turn right. And then we have turn left. Gire a la izquierda. Walk on. Camine sobre esta calle. ¿no? Walk on back street. Entonces caminamos sobre la calle. Back street. That is the meaning of walk on. And next to it means a la par de between. En medio de. Behind. Uh, let's see, for example, the video store is next to Max Duff. Uh, between, we have, the, let me see this one. Oh, the beauty shop is between the daycare center and the barber shop. Then we have behind, the bank is behind the grocery store. On, then we say, the city middle school is on front street. Están sobre esta calle, on the corner of, en la esquina de... The park is on the corner of Border Avenue and Front Street. And across from, al otro lado de. The bakery is across from the city park. And in front of, justo enfrente. The police station is in front of the barber shop. Justo enfrente de. That was the meaning of this expression that we learned. So let's practice then. Keep in mind this preposition and also these phrases for giving direction. And finally, let's see what and where. This was the last topic we studied in this course. So let's see. To make question with to make sentences, sorry, with was and where. We have this structure: subject, was, where, and complement. Very easy. Any volunteer to read the first example? Who wants to read the example? Just one, just one volunteer. Read the example, please. Manuel, can you please read the example there? Not teacher. Hello, Manuel. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Can you help me I read was, this sentence? I was said yesterday. Thank you so much. And I asked me, can you read the next one? I? She, she was. She was at the whole shopping mall. Excellent. And the last one, let me see. Can you, Kevin? Your microphone. They were polite. Okay, excuse me, teacher. They were polite. Polite. Oh, polite. They were polite. Excellent. They were polite. So easy, right? To make sentences with was and were is very easy. Subject was aware and the complement. So I was at yesterday. She was at the shopping mall and they were polite. Very good. Thank you for your help bringing this. And then we have negative sentences with was and where. The simple past tense of the verb to be. Subject, was, where, plus not, plus complement. Solo tenemos que agregar el not después de was o después de where. Y contractado era wasn't o weren't. Let me see. Any volunteer to read this? He was not angry. Thank you so much. He was not angry. Si lo decimos contractado, sería... He wasn't, wasn't. Okay, angry. perfect. He wasn't angry. Let me show you the next example. You were, you were, not, you were not at home yesterday. At home yesterday. Just, Thank you, Susie. You were not at home yesterday. La forma contractada sería. You weren't. You weren't at home yesterday. You weren't at home yesterday. So don't forget about the structure. Subject. Plus was or where, plus not, plus the complement. And we have a negative sentence. Yes. And also we study a question, yes, no question. Was or where at the beginning of the question, the subject, the complement, and the question mark. Then anyone until to read this question? Were you sick last month? Thank you so much. Let me see. Francisca, were you sick last month? 
no was I know I know I not was oh I know I no I <laughs> no I wasn't yes no I wasn't very good <laughs> oh, we are almost to finish I know that today is Friday you say ah it's the fin de la de la semana estoy recansado solo quiero dormir we are almost to finish yes. So what do you think last month? Then you say, no, I wasn't. And look at this example. Was high school easy for you? Fue el bachillerato muy fácil para usted. Uh, sí, lo pasé solo con dieces. O sea, uy, apenas iba con cinco y seis. So was high school easy for you? Then you say, yes, it was. Or oh, no, it wasn't. Washing. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't easy. <laughs> Let me no, show you the next one. Were they busy yesterday? What is a good answer for this question? Were they busy yesterday? Estuvieron ellos ocupados ayer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta afirmativa? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, they were. Or no, they weren't. Right. And finally, we studied this W's work. Uh, W's work or information question. W's work plus was or were plus subject plus the complement and the question mark. Where were you on the weekend? Where were you on the weekend? Se desapareció todo el fin de semana. Le pregunto, no, where were you on the weekend? ¿Dónde estuviste el fin de semana? And then you say, I was at my mother's house. Estaba en la casa de mi mamá. O I was at the beach. I was uh, in the mountain. Estaba en la montaña, campando. I was camping. So, was let's see. Church. Oh, yes, I was in the church. Why were you angry? That is asking for a reason. Yes? Pero solo para la pregunta es que lleva el was it were, ¿verdad? Y ahí para la respuesta no tiene que llevar después de was were. En el primer ejemplo, where were you on the weekend? No, en general, en general, o le está dando cualquiera de las dos opciones, ¿verdad? Mm, sí, es que aquí dice where were, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En la primera. No, en la primera es where significa dónde. Y el sí. otro where es el verbo que había pensado, que sería dónde estuviste. Okay. Y tú, ¿dónde estuviste tú el fin de semana? Entonces, uh -huh. este where para la respuesta ya no necesitamos. Y uh -huh. veamos, este tampoco, porque si la pregunta es para usted, yo responde con I was. yo. I was. O I was. I was. O were. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. But why were you angry? That is asking for a reason. ¿Por qué estabas enojada? O enojado, then you say, I was angry because. I was angry because. Okay. Usted da información. Estaba enojado yes. porque. When yes. was your wedding ceremony? Mm -hmm. Ah, when is asking for a date. So, yes. pregunta por una fecha. When was your wedding ceremony? ¿Cuándo fue su ceremonia de bodas? Mm -hmm. It was in, y usted dice el año. It was in 2010. It was in 2015. So, mm -hmm. when? Mm -hmm. He's asking for a for a date. Uh, can you please answer the following question? Veamos quién la responde primero. What did you do yesterday? I, I, did, I, I, I went. I went. I went I to, did, my, to my work. I did cook yesterday. Okay, Kevin say, I went to work. 
I went to work, right? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. I went to work. Yes. Yo fui a trabajar. And then Carmen say I cooked yesterday. Ya no necesitamos did. Solo el verbo en pasado. I cooked yesterday. Second question. Where did you go last weekend? He's asking for a place. Where did you go last weekend? Where did you go last weekend? ¿Dónde fuiste el fin de semana pasado? Then you say, I went to... Then I went to... I went to the beach. Beach. Excellent answer. Thank you. I went to the beach. Anybody? Where did you go last weekend? I went to the church. Thank you so much. Excellent sentence. I went to the church. Anybody? The last answer. Where did you go last weekend? I went to... I went to the... Visit my family. Um, okay, and said, yeah, I visited, visited. my family. I visited, visited my family. Very okay. good. Did you go shopping? This is a yes no question. Did you go shopping? Yes, I or no, I. Did you yes, go I did. Yes, I did. Is the affirmative answer and the negative answer seria no I no I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good. And did you stay at home? Did you stay at home last weekend? Yes, I did. And let's see when did you last go to the movies? Oh, now it is an information question. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue al cine? Um, oh. I, went, I went to the movies. I went to the movies. I went to the movies. The last, <laughs> last year. The last weekend. weekend. Last weekend, last year. Excellent answer. Thank you so much. So this is the class for tonight and this was our last class. Do you have any comments? No comments? Any opinion about the class? This is the moment. For me, I'm so happy and it has been a pleasure to be with you all these nights learning this beautiful language. I want to say thank you for your participation, for your attention during the classes and also for your punctuality, right? Thank you so much. You help me a lot. And tell me, do you have any comments, Francisca? How do you feel yeah. about this course? Okay, uh, my question, picture. Tell me, what is your question? Uh, you will follow the Last teacher. If I'm going to continue teaching you in the next level. Next. Thank you. Okay. Um, the answer is I don't know. <laughs> but probably no, right? Ah, what well, a lastima. What a lastima. Es muy probable que no, ¿verdad? En cada nivel cambian, cambian de docente. Pero es mejor, ¿verdad? Si aprende de diferentes personas, aprende a convivir con los demás. I will miss it. Oh, thank you so much. I will miss you too. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Ana Yasmin. Gracias por todo. Un gusto haberlo conocido. Por si no lo vemos en el siguiente módulo. Excelente orientación. Nuevamente, no tengo palabras para agradecerle en lo personal. Oh, thank you so much, Ana Yasmin. Excelente, thank you for your excelente help, desarrollo. Your thank you. You did a great job <laughs> during this course. Eh, anybody? Feliz Thanks noche. Y fue un teacher. Mi teacher. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's say <laughs> Kevin and then Carmen. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I learned very much, very much English with your class. You're a nice teacher. And excellent 
excellent professional. Oh, thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you for your words, Carmen. Yes. Tell us. Uh, your microphone, Carmen, your microphone. <laughs> Gracias, teacher, por, por, por todo, por su conocimiento y compartirlo con nosotros. Gracias por, por la paciencia que nos ha tenido, a pesar de que a veces estamos más enredados y más perdidos que la mamá del chavo, pero <risa> gracias por, por el buen humor que le pone a las clases sí. también. Y la verdad es que fue un placer eh, haber estudiado con usted. Oh, thank you so much for your work, Carmen. Anybody want to say something? Gracias, teacher. Gracias por la paciencia que nos ha tenido. Quizás algunos, bueno, unos pueden más, ¿verdad? Otros quizás vamos más atrasados, pero igual usted tiene la paciencia para todos y esperamos que el próximo módulo esté con nosotros. Ok, I hope so, right? Espero que sí también. <risa> pero en general no, no sucede. Sí, lo vuelvo a ver a veces uno o dos módulos después o tres módulos más adelante. Uh, espero que se suceda, ¿verdad? En este caso. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. You have been a great group of students. I will really miss you. Thank you so much. Uh, well, el que no me diga tres oraciones en pasado simple no se puede desconectar. <laughs> That's not true. No es cierto. En realidad no es cierto. Thank you. So, congratulations for you too, right? So, felicitaciones también. Ustedes lo lograron. Han hecho un gran esfuerzo completando la plataforma. Eh, sé, ¿verdad? Que a veces es difícil por las obligaciones que tienen en su trabajo, con su familia. Sin embargo, ustedes están haciendo un gran esfuerzo también. Y pues espero que continúen haciéndolo, continúen aprendiendo. Y eh, continúen aprendiendo acerca de este idioma. Es muy bonito, ¿verdad? Es muy bueno y también es útil. Bueno, estoy seguro que en su trabajo les va a ayudar bastante. Tal vez no hoy, ¿verdad? Ni mañana, pero sí va a llegar el momento que le va a servir de algo. Entonces, continuamos aprendiendo. Les animo, ¿verdad? Que vayan con todo el ánimo para el siguiente nivel. Eh, pórtense bien con el otro teacher, ¿verdad? Eh, sigan participando así como lo hacen. Eh, se siente bien, ¿verdad? Cuando están participando. A veces se siente uno que está solo aquí, ¿verdad? pero ustedes me han hecho sentir que sí están presentes en la clase. Y eso es genial. Entonces, muchísimas gracias. Ha sido un placer. Cuídense mucho. Bye, bye. Enjoy your weekend. Chao, teacher. Bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye, bye, Manuel. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, Marixa. Bye, bye, Ana Yasmin. Bye, Francisca. Ángel, bye bye.